So in this video, we're going to look at the derivative of the log base a of x. So we're going to derive it first and come up with a formula. So in order to use, um, to find this formula, we're going to use a change of base formula, which is over here. Okay, so just refresh your memory as to what change of base formula means. Okay, so to do that, we're going to start off by taking the derivative of the log base a of x. So that's going to be equal to the derivative of the ln of x divided by the ln of a. Okay, and what we can see here is that this is going to be a quotient rule. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do though is I'm actually going to realize that I could do quotient rule, but ln of a is a constant, so I don't have to take, um, I can just multiply the constant times the derivative. So that's going to allow me to pull out the ln of a over here. Could do quotient rule and I'll get the same answer. And then I'm gonna, now I'm going to need to take the derivative of the ln of x. Okay, based on our work we've done previously, we're going to get one over the ln of a is then going to be, the derivative of ln of x is going to be one over x. Okay, so the derivative of the log base a of x is one over x ln of a. Okay, so in summary, I'm going to be able to say that the derivative of the log base a of any value u is equal to 1 over u ln of a, and then we would always have to remember the chain rule, take derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this in an example. So um, for the example I'm going to look at here, um, I'm going to take um, y is equal to the ln of x over x plus 1. Okay, so we're going to be looking at, um, this is really log base e, but, um, and we've done some work, so this is actually going to be a different example, a different formula here, but still a good example to do. So I'm going to say this is y is going to be the ln of u, and then I'm going to go over here and say u is going to be equal to x over x plus 1. Okay. And then I'm going to say that dy du, I know that's going to be 1 over u. And I know du dx is going to give me uh, x plus 1 on the denominator squared. And then I've got x plus 1 times the derivative of x, which is 1, minus x times the derivative of x plus 1 is 1. So that's going to give me x and x are going to subtract, so I'm going to get 1 over x plus 1 all quantity squared. Okay, so we know the little rhythm here. I'm going to take this value, I'm going to plug this in for u, and I'm going to multiply times du dx. So when I go ahead and do that, I'm going to get 1 over x over x plus 1 times 1 over x plus 1 all squared. Okay, so the result I'm going to get here is going to be x plus 1 over x times 1 over x plus 1 all squared. Okay, we can see this is going to cancel, so I'm going to be left with 1 over x times x plus 1. That's your derivative of um, this problem right here.